Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at why the Adam's Apple is called the Adam's Apple. The origins of this term go all the way back to the biblical event where Eve gave Adam a forbidden fruit, which is commonly misrepresented as an apple. The term then basically comes from the legend that when he ate of the apple, a piece got stuck in his throat and made a lump. Now, of course, according to the Bible story, it wasn't an apple Adam and Eve ate of, it was a fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, of which there was apparently only one. Besides the obvious fact that I don't know anyone who's felt particularly more knowledgeable in the ways of good and evil when they ate an apple, an apple tree is not self-pollinating, so you'd need more than one to have it produce more of itself, which pretty firmly kills the whole apple tree theory. To make the origins of the term even more ridiculous, even if it was an apple and it did get stuck in his throat, his children wouldn't somehow miraculously also have apples stuck in their throats. This is about as absurd as the age-old, well, if Adam had a rib taken out to make Eve, why aren't men missing a rib? Or the equally ludicrous corresponding claim by many that men somehow are missing a rib. Both sides of the argument seem to have suspended all logic while arguing over this triviality. The real the real irony here is that the rib translation was actually a mistranslation. So this all begs the question, why do most people think the Bible says Adam and Eve ate an apple to get them tossed out of the Garden of Eden? Why not an orange or a peach, or why not just call it like it is stated in the Bible story? Well, Aquila Ponticus, who was a 2nd century translator translating the Old Testament from Hebrew to Greek, took the liberty of translating it as an apple tree, even though the original text doesn't say that. It's likely he chose this due to the fact that he was translating it into Greek for Greeks, and that in Greek mythology, apples were seen as symbols of desire and destruction. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you've got a question like this that you would like us to answer, please do leave it in the comments below. And if you see another good one, give that comment a thumbs up because the ones that rise to the top, we are more likely to make as videos. So be sure to do that in the comments. Also over there on the right are a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.